Hi everyone, this is Josh Gavin with Tizish.com. On this tutorial, I'm going to show you an awesome Firefox tool, meaning the Firefox browser tool here at Firefox.com, spelled exactly as you see the word spelled here, Firefox.com, which is a browser. It's an awesome free tool to help you with your SEO and finding keywords while you blog. And uh, here's the tool here. It's called SEO Blogger. It's a free add-on, meaning it's a free tool to Firefox. So here's what you have to do. First, you have to go to Firefox.com here and download it and install it to your browser, Firefox.com. All right, there's a link with this recording. After that, go to the link that I gave you for this, for this tool called SEO Blogger. The link is included with this recording. And then in this section, click on Install SEO Blogger. After you install SEO Blogger, it's going to ask that you restart Firefox, which means basically close Firefox and reopen it. And after you do that, the tool is now activated. So I want to show you now how to use that tool with your blogging. And here's how you would do it. All right, so I'm going to go to my demo blog where I have some articles. Now let's just say I'm going to pick this random article right here. So here's an article that is just, it's a demo article that I, that's just created for the demo site that we have. And uh, let's say you have all your content in here, right? You did your article, now you want to put keywords in, right? Well, now I'm going to pretend that I'm an agent in Irvine, California. I'm a real estate agent and this is a blog article related to Irvine, California, right? And I want to find keywords related to Irvine, California and real estate specifically or whatever it is my topic is about to get more traffic for that. Here's what you have to do now with this new tool that you have. After you've installed SEO Blogger on your browser window, on your Firefox window, on the bottom right of your site, of your browser, you got, you're going to see a little tool that set, it looks like a W. See right here? It's a, it's a blue background with a white W. When you click on that, it's going to open this new box. And let's move the screen now. And here's this new box now that we have opened up. And uh, basically, here's what we do. What you got to do is the following. As you can see, my keywords are already there. But here's what you would do. All you have to do is enter the following. Start like this. Enter your city name with the word real estate. Or whatever topic your keywords, whatever topic your article is about. And click on search here. What this is going to do is, this is going to pull up different variations of this keyword, Irvine Real Estate, that people have used recently to search Google. Yeah, yeah to search Google, plain and simple. So as you can see here, let's say, Irvine Turtle Rock Real Estate, I click on add. And what this what happens now is this is gonna now start tracking my blog article here to see which keyword and how many times that I actually use that keyword in my article. So it's just a great way to track what keywords you want to use and how to use them. So here's here's a basic tip. I think it's obvious. Enter your city name with the word real estate, then try the following. Just your city name and the state. Just now to get Outside of real estate specific, meaning I just now did the keyword Irvine real estate, very real estate specific. As you can see, all these keywords are all real estate specific. Now I want to just do the whole region. So I do Irvine, California, and I click on search. And now what's going to happen is here's all these different keyword variations of what people have typed in Google and so forth in the search engines to find information about Irvine, California. So let's see these. There's about one about real estate legal case in San Diego or Irvine, California. Let's say I was doing an article that was related to this. I would make sure I use this exact same keyword phrase. I would click on add and I would use this program to help me see how many times do I use this exact keyword phrase. Def that's a good idea. Another one is, let's scroll down. Maybe if you have a resources page and you mention pet friendly hotels in Irvine, California, that's another great way to do it. Maybe on maybe a blog post you're doing or something. The whole point is, Whatever your article is about, put in keywords related to that to find keywords searched on Google by users related to it. So here's pet friendly. I would put that in. But let's just pretend this is only about real estate still. As I scroll down, here's a really good one. What is the cost of living in Irvine, California? Is that related to real estate? It totally is. So what I would do is I would mention these keywords exactly as I, as I see them here. At first I would add it and then I would mention these keywords exactly as I see them here in my article. So that way they show up and everything. That way my article is going to help get more traffic to the site all right? because I'm using the keywords people have searched in Google for. So basically that's the whole tool. It's an awesome tool. It's a free tool and I love free and I hope you guys uh, have get to use it and uh, let me know how your experience is with it. Let me know if you like it, dislike it, whatever the case is. I'm just curious and I love to see your thoughts. 
uh, go ahead and ask me all this stuff or let's have a conversation at facebook.com forward slash tizish and tizish is spelled as you see here t-i-z-i-s-h dot com all right well that's everything have a good day and take care